before I was diagnosed, I, my life was great. I had everything going for us. We, uh, we were happy, we had uh, no problems. Before Tim had Parkinson's, our life was good. We did a lot, we have four children, two grandbabies, and we skied, and bike ride, golf. We're a pretty active family. And then uh, all of a sudden one day, things changed a little bit. And I started to have little symptoms in my left hand, my left arm, and I was trying to, um, I just noticed that it was more difficult to do certain tasks. I had no energy, I was very lethargic. Um, it was hard for me to, it's hard to describe, but I didn't feel well every day. I just felt something was off and I didn't know what it was. It's funny because the doctors really didn't give me a prognosis for the future. They, they, uh, they diagnosed me and sent me home with medication without really any instructions on how to get better. When he was diagnosed with Parkinson's, he was the one that researched it all. Because the two of us walked out of the doctor's office not knowing what we're supposed to be doing or where we're supposed to go or what was going to happen with our future, I guess. And he was the one that started researching it. Being proactive, I decided I was going to make myself get better. Like this wasn't going to be a death sentence. It was going to be a... Uh, it was going to be a fight, but we were going to win the fight. So I found uh, different um, stem cells, people on the phone, uh, different companies, and uh, what I liked about stem medics was that it, they weren't just after the money. They, I actually had to do certain things to pass for them to do the, the tests on me, which I found incredible because other places I called would tell you the amount of money it was going to be, and yeah, come on in. Stem medics said, no, you must, you have to have certain scans done, blood work done, and we have to see it all, and then we'll, you know, we'll see if we approve you. I made the call, I uh, got the information they required. I got the tests done, I sent them the tests. Um, when they approved it, it was, it was really, it was really simple. And we just, we went up there and it was enjoyable actually, but it was uh, very relaxing. It wasn't, there was no pressure. There was, everybody was so positive. From the front desk to the doctor, are so incredibly nice people. And even just from staying at the hotel, getting the shuttle from the hotel to the hospital was they're just so nice. Like, I've never seen it like that before. Right away, I think, in the procedure, hospital or whatever you want to call it, where we were, um, his walking ability had changed, I think, right away, right from the table to leaving. I started noticing I had more energy. I, I uh, had movement back in my hands. I was um, walking faster. I was moving better. And it's continued. It hasn't really stopped. Um, uh, Probably within six months, big changes. He was moving faster. I mean, he doesn't have a lot of shaking to begin with, so that pretty much was gone too. Um, his vocabulary was better. His alertness was better. Like just everything in general, I think, from my life's point of view. Even my kids say, like, Dad's way better than he was. I'm like, you guys have to tell him that because he's got to start believing it now. And uh, I think the combinations from his small dose of pills to the stem cells have really made a difference in his life. Like, I play golf two or three times a week. I, I went and played tennis. Um, I've, I pedal the bike probably 15 miles, 20 miles a day. I can do all the things that I once could do. I, I don't do them probably 100% as well, but I'm very close to it. And it's exciting. I, I look forward to the future now. I noticed in the last little while his sense of smell, which I believe Parkinson's people are not supposed to have. And it's very, very strong now because he keeps asking what kind of detergent has changed. I'm like, no, we have the same detergent, everything's the same. So there you are. I went to the doctor the other day and I got my medication cut in half, which is a very rare if you have Parkinson's. It doesn't often happen. So even the doctor was shocked that I was getting better. And I know that at work with his sons, he's, um, my boys will say, oh my God, dad's back to normal. So I'm like, what's normal? He says, 
No, he's right in the conversations. He's not like in La La Land. I said, oh, I never noticed that <laughs> that was happening. So and those changes, I think, are big changes for him. I'm 100% better than I was. I'm not 100%, but I'm better than I was. So we're going to go traveling now that you're good or better than you are or were. So and his living and, you know, just everyday activities are much easier for him. So I got to attribute to the stem cells. Yeah. If, I, if required, I would definitely go back for another stem cell therapy. Was, um, I believe in it, and it, so it, it, it was a great experience. I can't say enough about them. <laughs>